Good morning, folks. We've taken an X-Class solar flare. More may be expected. We'll take a look at the sunspots, a piece of eye candy from the ESO, an interesting story on Titan, and a review about ionospheric impact from a gamma ray burst. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star and find the flare should be easy to spot. It's a flash in the top left quadrant. It reached X2 level, but its impulsiveness made it confined to the umbral and local coronal zone. No noticeable CME has erupted. It is rare but not unheard of for an X-Class flare not to make a CME, but it does happen. This one fits that description, with a major plasma surge within the magnetic area of the active region. We'll have to monitor that area for more activity as those bigger sunspots on the right are departing, leaving those incomers on the left there. More flaring would not at all be unexpected today. Moving on to the ESO, where their newest image shows what they're calling a dark wolf in space. It's actually foreground gas and dust blocking and darkening the place that kind of looks like a wolf's head. To be honest, I am equally interested in that orangish circle there on the left side. No clue what that is. Cool story next up about Titan. Latest data suggests Saturn's moon has a six mile thick crust. It's made of ice and methane, and they say it actually insulates the interior ocean region. It's not out of the realm of possibility that Titan has some form of life. The temperature and radiation shielding do fit the bill. Lastly on the article front, interesting review of that gamma burst from a nova event that made a dramatic impact on our ionosphere. That's not supposed to be possible, but we heard about it last year and here's more information on that event, the first of its kind. And I still can't help but ask if it was able to have such a dramatic effect on our planet because the magnetic field of Earth is weakening in the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Speaking of which, first conference at the ranch is tomorrow, next one end of the month. We're going to be going from the most basic information to advanced catastrophism in one day, ObserverRanch.com. Also folks, our documentary on the magnetic pole shift is still progressing nicely. It's going to come out next year and I wanted to give a shout out to our sponsor, Gold Co. I prep food, water, bullets, location, pretty much everything else you'd expect, but I also have a silver backstop for financial trouble, which I do think is coming in our world. Gold Co. loves the observers. They have been watching for a while, and they made goldobservers.com just for us. Strongly advise you include the safety net in your prepping. All links are found below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.